Thanks for coming over, Denise. I did not want to be alone tonight. I know you didn't. <laughs> I'm your girl. And because I'm your girl, I'm going to be honest with you. Where's your man? <laughs> what? Where is your man? Like, where's your man? Where's Clark? I'm sure he's just working late. <laughs> Louise motherfucking Lane. What? Don't sit here and try to give me excuses for that man. If Clark Kent wanted to be here, mm -hmm. he would be here. I wouldn't expect you to understand. Oh, I understand. I understand that your man is out all hours of the night. <laughs> it's his job. He's a reporter. Louise, you do not see the signs? Why do you think he comes home every night, all his buttons ripped off his shirt? All of them, not some. All of them. I, I don't know. And why do you think he keeps running into all these phone booths? Who the hell is he calling, Louise? Okay, it doesn't oh, and matter. every time Lex Luthor tries to take over the city, why is Clark never here to protect you? He's out there running games, seriously. Getting his D wet all over Metropolis. And no, Clark's D is dry. I trust him. First of all, I don't want no dry D and you don't even. You somebody, so do better. And you can have a little bit more faith. I am so sorry, Louise. Oh. Can you forgive me? Oh, of course, baby. Oh, uh, hi, Denise. Clark. So, Denise, how's your love life? No, if she doesn't want to talk That's about it. But I do, because unlike some of us, I have a good man. <laughs> well, we are so happy for you. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> OK. Girl, I've been fucking Superman on the regular chat. OK. Black Panther would never. Louise. <laughs> well, what Black Panther do? Tonight, we're talking about modern relationships and asking the question, is monogamy a realistic expectation? Joining me right now is a sex and intimacy expert who is also the host of the Lovers and Friends podcast, Shan Boudram. What up, Shan? What's up? Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Now, I got a simple question. Is monogamy a realistic expectation in today's modern relationships? Absolutely. It absolutely is. Okay. 100%. There are still a bulk of people who would prefer to have one person. Let's be clear. There is traditional monogamy, which is one person forever, which our grandparents usually upheld. Now, today, it's modern monogamy, which is one person at a time. A lot of people are very <laughs> capable at one person at a time. Yeah, I saw that you're married, but you're in a non-monogamous relationship with true. your current uh, partner. Yeah. Oh, it's spicy in the audience. Yes. Stop. I feel, I feel, I feel love, but then I feel judgment too. <laughs> Relax. All right. Why do you think that's the right option for you? I believe that everybody's got three basic functions in life, to survive, to thrive, and to procreate, which means a third of your life is driven by your sexuality and your sensuality. So I didn't want that third of myself to be blocked off, and I felt with the right partner, they would also want that part of me to thrive and be exactly as I choose it to be. So what about, you know, him? Yes! There we go! <laughs> he can do his thing too, right? Yes, I also think that it's hot that he gets to go out there in the world and be an individual, and that he chooses me every day. So we choose each other and we choose the relationship. Now, mind you, that's because I chose a partner whose decisions I like. Yeah. I'm sure if I had somebody who was out there running amok, I would may feel differently. Yeah, I've done enough therapy to know that my ego is way too fragile for that. So how, yes, yeah, uh, so, less, so, just for knowing so, yourself. So how do you overcome like and manage the feelings of like jealousy when you're in these non-monogamous? Situations. See, I don't think jealousy ever goes away. And I think it's important to know if you can't manage the feeling, then don't even partake in these relationships or go to therapy with your partner, see if you can. But there's two letters, two words I want to talk about with the letter C. So there's compersion and there's cuckolding. Sadly, I know what those things are. Okay, do no, educate. That's when uh, you enjoy watching somebody bang out your significant other. Yeah, I mean, that's not in the Oxford Dictionary, but I like yours. That yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah. What is it? Is that the actual definition? Well, it could just be seeing your partner be sexual with somebody else actually turns you on. <sighs> Cuckolding is that fetish. Okay. Compersion is the joy that you experience from watching someone else have fun. Everybody in the audience right now is experiencing compersion. They're watching us have a conversation, and even though they're not talking, they're enjoying it because they're seeing other people, you know, engage in a discourse. So when you can see your partner be happy and it makes you happy, I think that's a good indicator that you could be a possible fit for consensual non-monogamy. I don't want to see nobody else making my partner happy. That's my job. That's why you know it's not for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Now, what does a healthy non-monogamy
monogamous relationship look like? I think it looks like a healthy monogamous relationship. I think in relationships, we focus a lot on the to-do list rather than the to-feel list, which is something that my friend Hey Friend Hey gave me. But a to-do list is you're gonna come home with this time. You're not gonna like someone else's pictures. You're only gonna have eyes for me. You're not gonna step out of the relationship. A to-feel list is I wanna feel celebrated. I wanna feel sexy. I wanna feel like my opinion matters. My dreams matter. I wanna feel like I am honored in this relationship. And whether I am with you and several people or just you, that to-feel list is what's most important. So if you are in a monogamous relationship and don't feel that way, it's not healthy. If you are in a non-monogamous relationship and again, you don't feel respected and celebrated and honored and sexy, as, then it's not a good relationship for you. Wow. Thank you for all that free jewelry. Peace to the planet. It's your man Charlemagne the God reminding your ass to subscribe to the God's Honest Truth YouTube channel. What are you waiting on? Join the movement.